Hello everyone. Welcome to Open Plan Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, we hope that everyone is having a great holiday season uh, as we are. Uh, so in today's tech tip, we will go over uh, how to generate uh, also metrics uh, in uh, PDF file format. Uh, so let me uh, zoom into uh, our Open Plan Modeler drawing here and uh, select a pipeline uh, to generate isometrics. Okay, so in this model we have uh, over 30 uh, pipelines. I'll just select one line here. So typically for insertion isometric generation, you'll select a pipeline from Pipeline Manager, uh, select the isometric style from here, and hit the generate isometric button. When we do this, the isometric processor uh, launches up and it produces an isometric uh, drawing. And this drawing can then be open up. So by default, it generates a DGN file and open up the isometrics preview in uh, isometric manager previewing window uh, with the uh, some of the isometric tools for editing the isometrics or doing some changes if need be. So how to generate a, a PDF? Uh, let's look how we can now generate a PDF. Let me close this. So let me launch uh, isometric manager um, configuration and settings uh, interface and I'll select styles here and we will look at the um, IFC style setting. So in connect edition update uh, 2 we have this output format here added. You can select the uh, output format and this UI presents uh, various options. Uh, design file DGN is, like I said, is the setting out of the box. Here you can have DXF, DWG, PCF, as well as the PDF format. So I'll just select the PDF format here, save my settings, and uh, close this uh, interface. So when I come here now, and I regenerate my isometric, so it says isometric generated successfully. I can right click here uh, in the isometric processor and select open containing folder. This will take me to the location uh, where the uh, export file is generated. I'll select DGN. And notice that uh, along with the DGN, it adds a folder called exports. And under exports, this PDF file um, has been generated. And let me just open up this PDF file and this is the isometric now in a PDF file uh, format. So this is one way um, to generate a PDF. Uh, the other way is that if you have that setting turned on uh, to generate a PDF uh, format uh, while you create isometrics, um, you can also publish a PDF file from the isometric uh, preview window uh, using the republish or republish all buttons. After the fact that any changes are done here, uh, for instance, maybe let me just select move label and I'm, if I move labels around and just to uh, give you an example and once I do these changes, I can hit the republish button and this will actually republish uh, or print all the uh, isometric uh, formats that I have selected in my output option. So let me quickly go back to that folder and open up the PDF file. Notice that the, as the PDF file is generated uh, with the changes I just did in my DGN file. For this uh, republish uh, button uh, and republish all uh, creates the output for all the DGNs uh, or the isometric that are present in the, the uh, folder. Uh, all the settings, uh, the print related settings uh, that uh, MicroStation offers uh, for uh, uh, printing to PDF are applicable. You can set any settings. For instance, see the print related keys uh, or attributes. So all these uh, 
different settings related to attributes, pages, color modes, uh, printing itemetric to grayscale or monochrome uh, can be applied um, for this session uh, of uh, the isometric generation. If you want to save some of these settings for default uh, for your whole project or um, date the, uh, the out of the box setting, these commands can be copied into a CFG file in your configuration folder in a plot.cfg file and all the uh, changes will be applied for subsequent publishing of isometrics. So this way you can uh, do these settings in your isometric uh, configuration and generate a PDF output uh, for your isometrics. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thanks for watching this week's uh, tech tip.